The Roosters and Dragons will open up our Sunday afternoon at Allianz Stadium for the Round 18 NRL Telstra Premiership and a rematch of the Anzac Day clash we saw earlier this year. I'm Renee Gardner and I'm joined by Josh Mansour. And Josh, let's start with the Roosters. Let's do it. Uh, Hargraves, he's now become the most capped player Crazy. for the Roosters Crazy. in their 307 first grade um, outings. Unbelievable. Which is absolutely massive. They look comfortable and confident in their win last week. Sam Walker, on top of that, has been phenomenal in the halves. He has. Uh, let's just give uh, Jared Rua Hargraves a massive salute there. Like around in the seven um, games for the Roosters. Uh, playing in the middle as well yeah. is a massive feat. Uh, he's been the number one enforcer for the past decade, in my opinion, in the NRL. So uh, it's great to see him. Um, obviously, uh, reached that accomplishment. Sam Walker, like you said, uh, he came into the NRL with such little experience as a young kid, and now he's really owned that number seven jersey as his own. Last year, there was a lot of instability, ins and outs around the halves, but there's no question now that Sammy Walker going forward is their man. Oh, it just shows it was better for that experience exactly. as well too. Let's look over to the Dragons, and it is of note that it is an entirely different side yes. to what we saw in round yes. eight in Anzac Day. Uh, what do you think about them coming into this side? I think it's going to be a lot more competitive than what we were used to. Well, they're a team that really work for each other, and you know, like that Anzac Day clash, they're nowhere near that exact same team. You know, the, the Roosters absolutely ran right that day on them, and um, I feel like Shane Flanagan has been outstanding. Dean Young as an assistant coach has been outstanding as well. Um, but at the end of the day, the players are the ones that are taking the field week in, week out, and they've been making such a hell of a performances as well. So they're a team as well that have surprised a lot of people this year. You know, they're sitting you know, just in the top eight at the moment. Uh, but there is there is a game here that a bit of revenge on the cards, in my opinion. They really need to uh, unravel the Roosters, and um, it's going yeah, to be a juicy matchup, in my opinion. Uh, do you think Flano is going to inspire the troops? I can't see. Uh, I can't see that this week, unfortunately. Uh, I think the Roosters uh, have got enough firepower to really unravel um, the Dragons. Massive loss in Joey Manu. Um, you know, Michael Jennings comes back into the fold, but I still feel like they've got too much star quality. All right, sticking with the Roosters, thank you very much, Josh. If you want to see this match live, simply go to nrl.com slash tickets. If you can't get to the game, remember you can watch it on Foxtel, Sky New Zealand or KO. Kickoff is at 2pm.